lie? What if he, um, you know, if, if he's telling the truth, I said, then we'll meet again. Then we'll meet again. I could be so good to you. 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 What up, besties? Okay, I'm on my way back home. It was a good time. I'm going to talk to y'all thoroughly about um, the whole time we were here. Um, but I feel well rested. Hopefully y'all can hear me, and I'm ready to go home, so I'll see y'all in a bit. Good morning, best friends. So, um, today is Friday, and we are heading to get our locks retwisted. We might even do a solo day today, I don't know, but anyway, this is the before. Honey, it's been a while, so we have to get these butters whipped. Let's go. Okay, so we are at a restaurant called Mojo's. If you've been following me for a while, we've been here before. Thank you. And um, yeah, so super excited, you guys. And um, we're gonna have a good time, me, myself, and you. Now that my hair is done. <laughs> so let me let y'all take a look at the place. Um, it's a New Orleans style. 
Shout out to Winnie uh, Parker for not really. Y'all, this is clearing my sinuses. Y'all can't see, I don't know if y'all can tell. My eyes literally water. Oh my goodness. That baked potato as well. Ah, I'm so excited. Besties, y'all, we have a whole plate. So I kind of made my own meal here at, um, what's the name of uh, Mojo's? So I did crab cake. But I also have, so here's what the crab cake looks like. This is actually an appetizer. Right? Crazy, right? So I did crab cake. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do two sides to make it a full meal. So I got asparagus. Which, ladies, we can't eat that much asparagus. Love Belvin taught me that. And then a loaded baked potato, but no bacon. Because if in case y'all don't know, I am pescatarian. So let's dig in. Say something about my hair. I'm gonna go say hi to him. I have a bad fool. That's the word Gina used to say. Hey, hey dude. Hey. How you doing, baby? I'm alright. You sure? Uh huh. Okay. Here's your meal. That's it. You got the joy of the Lord down in your heart? Amen. And how was your food? It was really good. Mm -hmm. I love your hair. Thank you. Tell her, tell her. Come on, baby, have it down your back, all the way down your back. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Told y'all. Bye bye. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Only because I feel like I look like a little kid. Anyway, when I got home, I'm finna take a nap. 
and then y'all why the why the time my mom just started oh i do i'm finna take a nap i got you back bye i'm about to give y'all this good story so let's give the backstory and then i'm gonna get the story so the backstory is you know I'm just be very transparent. Y'all, I'm working on a, I'm working on a couple books. I don't know how I'm writing two books at one time. I'm kind of writing more of one book than the other, but y'all know what I mean. So I'm going to write a book. Y'all know I got my books that are about romance, love, and all this stuff, which one of them I'm gonna release for my uh 10 year authorversary which is we're celebrating august 31st with a gala here in chicago so make sure you be ready to purchase your gala tickets okay i'm only doing 50 book boxes 50 gala tickets so y'all might want to be putting 20 dollars here and there to the side so y'all get these tickets anyway 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 so y'all i am um, uh, I, I, as, as I come into this year, you know, I, I'm writing a book about my abstinence journey because I don't think the people had told me everything I was going to need to know for my abstinence journey. Hey, Couture, they did not tell me everything I was going to need to know. Here are some things they didn't tell me if I was going to need to know. And this is a part of the story I'm telling y'all. The people did not tell me that it was a chance I was going to be abstaining to marriage uh, uh, at 32. The people ain't tell me that. <laughs> the, I don't know if I would have signed up. I don't know if I would have signed up for the Christian Jubilee if <laughs> if I was go if I knew I was going to be 32. Okay, the people ain't tell me that. The people ain't tell me that it could be a lonely road. The people ain't tell me that. The people did not tell me that the men of God, okay? The men of God don't like when you be abstaining. The people ain't tell me that it's only about five of them abstaining in total worldwide, okay? The people did not tell. When my parents had said God said that, I had really believed them. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign up for the Christian Jubilee. And baby, I just did not know what all it was gonna come with. Okay. So with that being said, you know, my cousin Tyra is on here. She is also my editor. She knows the tea. With that being said, y'all, I be having these men of God. Okay. That I entertain. He and there. Worldwide, five of them, okay? <laughs> so, I'll be having these men of God that I entertain. You know, a boo here or there, okay? So, as this new year was coming in, I was like, I don't really want to keep entertaining these men of God knowing that ain't none of them husband material. Okay, you so tickled already. <laughs> Ain't not now one of them husband material. Not now. I think one or two of them is in here. But whatever, you know who you are. <laughs> Ain't not now none of them husband material. So if I'm believing God, you know, I'm abstaining until marriage. I'm serious about that. And so if I'm abstaining until marriage, then I want to loose, you know, myself. Hello, Danielle. From this, um, this spirit of this roster. Okay. Now, I done had me a little roster. I hate to say that because that sounds crazy. I, roster sounds crazy to me. Little friends. Y'all know what I'm saying? I done had some little friends. Now, one or two of them might be in here. Listen, they are in the group. They not, I don't see them on the live. I would have said that, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I wanted to rid myself of this roster spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I was like, you know what, guy? I want to let this go because I really want my actual husband and not these folks that we playing with. Um, Lady this, hello, the Bible says, and they shall know the truth. Hmm? And the truth shall set them free. So I said, okay, I'm done with the roster. They ain't I don't want to say they ain't worth nothing. That's wrong. What I'm going to say is none of them are suitable for me in real life. Anyway, they all just some situation sips, some little yeah, some little friends, some I'm going to talk to you when I'm bored, some I like the way you talk to me, some you hug good, you know, that, that type of energy. 
So I got rid of it. And one of them I was had supposed to have got rid of back in 2023, but actually back in 2022, like in the top of 2023, but I didn't. So we decided to let that go this year. I don't think I said nothing about it, but okay, we let it go. And so, baby, a little yang, yang, yang around the house, okay? So, so I had went on vacation. I went to go see my friend Keisha. My friend Keisha lives in uh, St. Louis. If y'all know my friend Keisha, um, Keisha is a best-selling author as well. Um, Keisha Irvin is her name. She's written, uh, she's like an Essence best-selling author, written so many books, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm hugging. Um, I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> I was hugging. That spirit of the hug has left me. I'm I'm out here solo dying. Um <laughs> let, let's be clear. Now I wasn't doing too much on the hugs. I wasn't doing too much for um on the hugs. But you know, he in there. Hey Latasha. So anyway. <laughs> hugging, not humping, huh? That's a word for somebody in this house. Now. Y'all, so I go to St. Louis and I just wanted a quick little getaway, a little three-day getaway or whatever. Baby, night one, I go to sleep and I'm awakened, okay, like from my slumber because I had a dream. And if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at y'all comments. I had a dream. That I was in a relationship. Now, I ain't been in a relationship in a very long time, okay? So, I had this dream that I was in a relationship. And I don't even think I could count that. So, we gonna just say never. I had a dream I was in a relationship. The man was tall. He was, okay, he was stocky. That's what I like. He was stocky. He um, And I could tell he was taller than me. That, that don't be happening all the time, okay? That was in the dream. He was taller than me, and I don't remember the exact dream verbatim, but I know he was standing in front of me to, like, protect me from something, and I couldn't remember. I was like, <gasps> I woke up like, oh, my God, this is my husband. Okay, so I, I called home like, yo, I had this dream. It's one thing about me, I don't even know how I'm going to move out of my parents' house because I le legitimately, when I'm not here, I be calling, like, Hey, y'all, what y'all doing? <laughs> so I had this dream. I'm like, oh, is that my husband? What's up? So me and Keisha, we um, get ready for the day. We go to this place. So um, we were supposed to go candle making. But this fool that said we were going candle making, on, it was a Tuesday. We was going candle making on Tuesday. We get there. I only found out these people closed on Tuesday. So she ain't even looked that up. Hey, Dr. Kesha. So she ain't even looked that up. Okay. So, okay. And then uh, the last place we went to, because we was like, you know, we black. We need something sweet. So we go to this. Uh, what we go to a cheesecake place to know me is to know cheesecake is my favorite dessert. Somebody type in the comments, the devil know what you like. Ah, y'all don't bullshit. Y'all don't have no help in here. The devil know what you like. Now, I told y'all I had rid myself of this spirit of the roster. Okay? Because I'm really thinking the next man I run into, this finna be my husband, I'm finna marry him, we good. But the devil... Know what you like. Okay, let me just stop playing because I really don't think this was demonic. I was just playing. But anyway. <laughs> so look, look, look. We go over to the cheesecake place, right? And I, I got my camera with me, so I'm vlogging for my YouTube channel or whatever. And um, Keisha is some steps ahead of me. Now, mind you, both of us is looking cute, smelling good. We got our makeup done. Now, my hair wasn't done, but I got locks, so it don't really matter. I was still cute. So, we go to the cheesecake place, right? And we going up there, and Keisha's a few steps ahead of me because I'm vlogging. And I'm on my camera saying, oh, this is this kind of cheesecake. This is that kind of cheesecake, whatever. 
So she and I get to the counter and the man behind the counter go, what y'all smell good? And I said, I hope both of us smell good. And he was like, nah, but it's one of y'all got on something like unique or whatever. What kind of perfume y'all got on? So she had on Moschino and I had on YSL Libre. So I had on YSL Libre. So anyway, Keisha placed her order. I'm still doing whatever with the camera. And she got off to the side. Now, while he's packing her order, I'm trying to decide what I want. I'm talking about how much money I done spent that day, child. Anyway, um, and so he comes over to where I was about to ask me my order. And he goes, it's you. I said, what's me? He said, it's you with that perfume on. I said, oh, thank you. Whatever. So anyway, he going back over there. Um, he asked me what I wanted, blah, blah, blah. No, he didn't ask me what I wanted. He put in T Keisha's order, took her money, whatever, and went out to the side to start packing her order. Um, and so he comes back over and he asked, um, he's asking me what I want, but I didn't hear him because I'm in my phone. Hey, Crystal. So I'm in my phone. I ain't hear him. And so y'all know how you feel somebody staring at you. So I look up and he was like, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I ain't paying attention. Whatever. Uh, I would like what, what, whatever, whatever, whatever. And he was like, nah, you ain't getting there. You ain't paying attention. You all in your phone. Who you texting or whatever. Right. And so I tell him what kind of cheesecake I want. And he was like, um, you come here often? And I was like, I don't come here at all. Now, mind you, right off the bat, hey, Taranya, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Right off the bat, I don't know this man flirting with me. Y'all know I'm terrible with that. I don't know that man flirting with me right off the bat, but I, I, I picked up what he was putting down soon, okay? So... I was like, uh, I don't come here at all. I, I don't come here. And he was like, oh, you said that like you're not from here. I was like, and he was doing his hair like this. Oh, you said that like you're not from here. I said, because I'm not from here. He said, well, uh, where are you from? I said, Chicago. So we doing our heads like this. And he said, where in Chicago? I was like, you trying to stalk me? <laughs> And so he was like, no, nah, I'm just asking where where in Chicago I said the suburbs. He said, which suburb? Killer Stream, um, Country Club Hills. He started naming places. I said, when's the next time you come to St. Louis? I said, Keisha, when next time uh, I'm coming to St. Louis? Now, my friend be cussing real bad. She was like, I don't know, whenever the hell you want to. I'm like, thank you, friend. She just, chow. <laughs> anyway, so... I was like, I, I don't know. I guess whenever I have a reason to come back. And he said, what you mean? I'm going to be your reason. I said, oh, you going to be the reason? Right off the bat, let me, let me pause to give y'all my thoughts as I was talking to this man, right? He giving me mad confidence. He's, I ain't tell y'all how he looks. So he is tall, taller than me. Rare. Okay, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm 5'11 and a half. So these men do not be taller than me like that. A lot of the men that try to holler at me be short. <laughs> so he was taller than me. He was not skinny. I don't really like skinny. I, I don't. Um, no shade to anybody who is skinny in the house. You know, God has a blessing for you. It's just not me. I don't really like real skinny. I don't want us walking around looking like the number 18. I don't like that. Um, I like to do a little bit stocky, but he wasn't that. He was just, mm -hmm. I could tell he used to play basketball in, in high school, maybe college. <laughs> used to, not now. Um, and so, you know, that's what I like or whatever. And I was like, oh, he's cute. He had nice lips. You know, he, he's cute. He's a looker. Like I was thinking to myself, okay, if, if I was to do a live with, with my besties, with my chocolate chips, like, I wouldn't be embarrassed to be like, oh, y'all, this my dude. Like, I wouldn't be embarrassed. You know, sometimes I have had moments where I was talking to somebody and they embarrassed me. I'ma just be honest. Because the let, the one I had to let go, mm, that's a whole nother story time. I'ma give y'all a full series on that one. But anyway, let's get back to this one. So, 
uh, he packs up my order, you know, rings me up. And this is a family owned establishment. So it's not, he's, it's a family owned establishment. Let me just leave it at that. So he says, um, well, can I come to Chicago? And I said, of course you can. It's a free world, honey. You could go wherever you want to go. <laughs> He said, why do you keep playing? I think that's my flirt style. First of all, I'm naturally hard to get. But also, in addition to that, I'm also funny. So, it's it's both. It's both of them. Hey, Katora. So, he said, why are you playing? Like, I'm trying to come see you. I said, okay, you can come see me. And so, he asked me that I have a business card. <clears throat> he asked me that I have a business card. And I was like... I don't have any more business cards, but if you're asking for my phone number, I can give you my number. So I gave him my number. First of all, y'all, I ain't gave nobody my number, and I don't know how long. Like, when I told my family I gave somebody my number, they was like, what? Like, I'd be like, no, no, no. And you know what? I usually beat myself up about my nose. I usually beat myself up about saying no so often. Like, how you gonna meet somebody if you keep saying no? But you know what? I don't be wrong. I'm not wrong, honey. When I say no, it's a no. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. All right, anyway. So I gave him my number and me and Keisha went out um, to the hallway. We started taking pictures or whatever. And when I tell you five minutes later, I had a text in my phone about how it was so wonderful to meet me. And we were texting that evening. The next morning, I woke up to a good morning text. Listen, I like good morning text. Y'all like that? I like good morning text. So I wake up to a good morning text and all this stuff. And so I'm like, okay, um, this man is already calling me love. He just met me. That's that's a little quick. But you know what? It's cool. I like good morning texts, all that good stuff. So we're texting throughout the day. The after that, I'm about to go home. So I let him know, like I'm, you know, I'm going home, or whatever. And he let me know, you know, I was thinking about you all day at work, whatever, whatever. I said, well, next time. That's right, Tasha. So I said, well, next time, you know, just call me when you're thinking of me. And you know, we could talk. We don't have to just text. Listen, I don't really like texting like that. I don't. My friends and family know. I will send you a voice note because I don't want to text you with you. I don't. It is so ill. <laughs> I'm not texting you. So anyway, he wished me safe travels. Safe travels, love. Text me when you land. All this stuff. You want to know when I land? Like, we, we literally just met. All the things. And I'm like, okay, let me tell y'all really what I was thinking when I met him. If you read the Church Girl series, you understand. When I met him, I was like, his confidence is giving me arm snatcher vibes. Huh? Huh? He's, he's giving me arm snatcher vibes. I say, is this Rashawn in real life? He had the spirits of the arm snatcher. And I was like, oh, Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. Okay, and he knows what I want. I was happy. Arm snatcher vibes. But, you know, I land. We land. And I text him and told him I landed. And he was like, you know, I'm thankful you made it safely, whatever, whatever. And then I said... Let me ask you a question or three. LOL. And he said, shoot. <sighs> Y'all, I said, these are my questions. Y'all ready for my questions? If you're ready for the questions, ask me what are the questions. Put that in the comments. I need interaction here. All right. Thank you. So, <laughs> Christina and Crystal, that asked me. So, these are the three questions. Y'all ready? I said, number one. Do you have a wife or a girlfriend? Do you have someone who thinks they are your wife, girlfriend, or significant other? Three. Do you have someone who's going to smack you upside the head if they found out that you asked for my phone number? Those were the three questions that I asked. 
I'm going to say it again. Number one, do you have a wife or girlfriend or a significant other? Number two, do you have someone who thinks they are your wife, girlfriend, or significant other? And number three, okay? Number three is, do you have someone who's going to slap you upside the head if they found out that you asked me for my number? Those were my questions. And I had to ask, at first I wasn't going to ask, because in my mind, I, I think it's a part of the innocence when you, when you like, when you are a virgin, there's still a certain level of innocence that you have where you think that people are pure and have pure intentions and they don't. And they don't. They they don't always. And it surprises me when people don't have pure intentions. Like I legit hey Cece, I legitimately be like, like what? Like it surprises me or it used to surprise me. Now I'm learning to ask questions. So I asked the three questions. That man responded to me and said, I won't lie to you. I do. I don't have a wife, but I do have a girlfriend and I definitely wanted to get to know you. Um, he said, he said, I definitely wanted to get to know you and I understand if you tell me to delete your number. Bruh. What your discernment off, bruh? Your discernment off. So now I know you ain't walking in the spirit because upon even meeting me, you should have known I'm not that girl. That's finna talk to you. Yeah. Please ask the questions. These fools will try to trick you. Oh yeah, I'll learn that. So I'm glad I asked. And so when he said that. I said, child, and I said, I'm glad I asked, shaking my head. He said, well, the only reason why, um, you know, I went ahead and got your number, though I have a girlfriend, is that I'm trying to figure out if this is the end. This girl has, he said, she has broken up with him four times in the last two weeks. And I'm like, and he was like, um, he's trying to see if it's over for real. Um, usually he would be done after two times, but the reason why she breaks up with him is because he's an entrepreneur, um, and he spends a whole lot of time in his restaurants and he feels like, or no, and she feels like she spends, he spends more time at the restaurants and his business than he spends with her. What are your thoughts? Come on, besties. Tell me what you're thinking. Hey, Vicky. Let me look at the comments. Why? Why the foolery? He wanted you in the middle of the madness. I almost cursed. Listen. I said, now, what restaurant you own because you don't own the one we was at the other day? You don't. Because I already don't look the restaurant up. So unless he just his picture's not on the website, I I don't know. But yeah, y'all, I didn't say that to him. I thought it it was enough, um, and I just said, listen, um, I said to him because I wasn't gonna say anything, but I decided to say something anyway. I just said, listen. Um, I hope you either figure your stuff, stuff out with old girl or not, meaning either be with her or let her go. Um, I said, but as it relates to me, I understand you say you want to get to know me. I hear something you can learn. I am not the type of woman who's going to sit courtside. And wait on you to figure out what you got going on on the court. That's just not me. And I'm going to pray for that poor lady. Here's the thing. Because <clears throat> the more I sat here and thought about our whole interaction. 
You kept asking me questions about Chicago, how often I came to St. Louis and all this stuff, because you are intrigued by that. Because it could be a situation where he legitimately is about to break up with this lady. That could have been a thing. But now I'm thinking like, nah, you were asking me all those things so you could enjoy Sister St. Louis over here while I'm in Chicago. Told me after the fact. At least he told you the truth about the girlfriend. Most men would have lied, especially living in another state. Yeah, he told me the truth after the fact. I am grateful for that. I'm not even, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. It's just what it is. What it is. So, I had to drink the night before. I met a man. And clearly, he's not the man of the dream. And that's okay. Or maybe he is at another time. Because I was telling this story to somebody else and they was like, what if he's actually a good guy? What if he, um, you know, if, if he's telling the truth, I said, then we'll meet again. Then we'll meet again. <laughs>